This is Brooke Wallace with your news headlines for Friday, December 2nd. Republican State Senator Gary Stubblefield has filed a bill that will prohibit sanctuary policies in Arkansas cities and keep such cities from receiving state money. Broadly speaking, this targets cities that show tolerance towards undocumented immigrants. Stubblefield said he wasn't sure of any cities that qualified as sanctuary cities. This was more of a preemptive bill. Well, you can now get a sense of what the Broadway Bridge will look like when it's complete. Barges and towboats floated the second arch of the bridge into place today in, as the highway department described, a delicate choreography. Each span weighs about 3.2 million pounds. An 83-year-old Dover man was shot and killed by a Pope County Sheriff's deputy yesterday. The Pope County Sheriff's Office said it responded to a call about an armed disturbance. When they got there, they found a man holding a rifle. He was given orders to drop the gun, but instead reportedly took cover behind a truck and fired his gun at the deputies. The state police is leading an investigation to find out whether the shooting was justified. The Arkansas Bar Association has announced a series of forums the public is invited to discuss the Bar Association's proposal to choose members of the Arkansas Supreme Court by appointment rather than election. The first upcoming one is December 8th in Jonesboro. See complete dates and more news on the Arkansas blog. Thanks and have a great weekend.